All right, what's up, Hypo guys? It's Dom, and then today I am showing you, or I'm giving you a tutorial on how to add custom sounds to an NBS or Noteblock Minecraft Noteblock Studio sound, or not sound, song. Sorry. So what you want to do is, if you want to edit a song, you click load a song, and open up whichever song you want to load. But for now, we're just gonna create a new song just for the tutorial. So right here, you have the defaults. But you can also add more. So if you go into edit instruments right here, and you can see the instrument settings. So the sound files, as you can see, the sound files must be located in the sound folder. This is the folder where you put your sound files if you wanted to um, actually add a custom sound. It would have to be an OGG file, which there are plenty of converters online that would help you. And here we go, we have. So the first one was harp, then the bass, then click, and the, the snare drum, and the um, bass drum. So you would add, so to actually put the file, or put the sound into here, you would click add, and here you go, you have custom instrument one. So you could remove this, but for the time being, we're just gonna leave it there. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it playing, cause that's the one that we're gonna use. So then you go into none, or you click on none. No sound file has have no sound file has been selected for this instrument. So go into the sound file or click that, and you can click double click on whatever sound file the OGV. Oh, actually, um, never mind. It doesn't have to be OGG. It could be WAV or MP3. So okay, and. So you're gonna import, so I'm just gonna use harp. But, well, I'm not actually gonna use that, but we're gonna actually use pling. So this is not actually in the defaults. You actually have to add this in manually. And you can't actually get it in a note block, I'm pretty sure at least. But here we have pling.ogg. So this, as you can see, now there's another instrument right here. Change instrument to pling. This is what it sounds like. It, it, it will not be compatible because it is not a custom instrument and you cannot use it in a note block. So that's the only bad thing about using, making songs with custom instruments. That's that's the, kind of the catch. So as you probably heard, this is it. And it's uh, louder and also obviously a different sound. But yeah, that's pretty much how you import a custom instrument into note block studio. So yeah. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.